So you want to get started with the best 500 companies in the United States. For that, the S&P 500 ETF is probably going to be the best option that you can choose. But if you want to go in the details and just want to invest in the information technology sector companies. So for that, the S&P 500 Information Technology Center ETF is probably the best option. But let's say you do not want to invest in the S&P 500 information technology companies, but just the data G companies, then the options are going to be very limited and most likely you will not find a single ETF that is catering to just these five companies. So today I want to share a new way you can make essentially your own ETF with the help of Trading212. With Trading212, you have a feature that is called as slices or pies which is essentially another name for creating your own ETF. Today, I will show you how to use that feature and create your own ETF. To get started, you can easily create an account with Trading212 by simply going to their website, trading212.com. The registration process is very easy. You can register using your mobile phone or the desktop app. It's easier if you register with your mobile phone as you can perform the identity verification within your mobile phone app and the whole process can be finished within a couple of minutes. So once you're done with the registration process, Let's log into your account and see how we can create our own ETF. Let's start with the desktop app. I've logged into my account, so I'll click on continue trading. Here you have two options, either Trading212 Invest or the Trading212 CFD. Here you need to click the Trading212 Invest option. So once you've logged in, you need to go in the portfolio option and click on create a pie. So essentially what a pie does is create different segments from different ETFs, stocks, and create a whole pie which you can invest as a whole. Firstly, we're going to click on add instruments. In this ETF, as I said in the beginning, I want to have the data G companies. Let's search for those companies first. Let's start with Disney. I have different options. I can select Walt Disney from the New York Stock Exchange. I can have short, long, 3X, but what I want to do here is select the Deutsche Börse, etc. Then I want to search for Amazon. Again, I will search and select the Deutsche Börse option and Alphabet, that's going to be Google. So I'm going to select again, search for the Deutsche Börse. Here you'll have two options of Alphabet A or Alphabet C. We're going to select Alphabet A. Then Tesla, similarly you'll have different options, but again, Deutsche Börse option and finally Apple and then we're going to click next. Now, once we click next, in this page, we have to select how much percentage each individual company is going to have in our whole pie. So as a sum, we need to have 100%. So initially everything is divided as 20%. But if you want to have a different proportion, we can easily change everything. If you're liking this video so far, I would really appreciate if you hit the like button. Let's say I want to have 50% with Google, 30% with Tesla, and the remaining 20%, I want to have 10% in Google, 5% in Amazon, and again, 5% in Walt Disney. So as you can see here, the weightage has been changed, and in my new ETF, I can have 50% allocation in Apple, 30% in Tesla, 10% in Google, 5% in Amazon, and again, 5% in Disney. But I think this distribution is not well proportioned. So I'll go back to the 20% individual allocation for each of these companies. Again, 100% is finished. And on the left hand side, you can easily name this ETF. So I've already named this thing as SN ETF. For further personalization, you can add an icon. So I'm going to add this money or the dollar icon. Let's say if you want to either remove or add another company, you can simply click the X button here and it will ask you to confirm if you want to remove this company. Uh, if I click on confirm, now this company has been removed and we can either increase the percentage of these individual companies to make it 100% or what we can do is click on add slice and add another company. So we'll go back and click on Apple again, click next. You don't have to stick with five companies. You can add as many different companies as you want. And you can also add individual ETFs within your own pies. Let me know in the comments below which companies you think belong in an ETF and what ETF would you like to create? Let's go and search for the, let's say IT sector. So here we have the information technology ETF from iShare. So we'll click that as well, click next. Within our ETF, we have individual companies and an ETF as well. There's no limitation on how you can make your own pie have different ETFs within your pie or individual stocks or a mixture of both. But here I will just delete iShares, go back to 20% each and have a balanced ETF having the five data G companies. So Disney, Amazon, Tesla, Alphabet and Apple. On the left hand side, you'll see an average annual return that is predicted based on the five year history of these five stocks. So 
in the past five years, the annual average return for these five companies has been 34.75. Here I need to mention one thing and that is the historical data is not an indicator of how a stock or a company will perform in the future. So you need to be more careful as these are individual companies. You have to look at the financial data of every single company, how they are performing, how the outlook is in the future. So be careful while selecting these companies and never select a company based on its history as you've probably seen what happened with Facebook and Netflix. So here we're going to select these five companies and then click next. In the next screen, we'll have two options. Either we can auto invest or we can manually invest. Here to make everything automated, we're going to select the auto invest and click next. So in this auto select option, we can set different goals. For example, here I have set a goal of 10 years with an individual investment amount of 1000 euros per month. And I have set an initial investment of 1000 euros, but you can easily change everything. So let's change our goals to next five years. We don't want to do a monthly investment. We can click on change schedule and we can have a weekly investment. And let's choose a day, let's say Monday and 1000 euros is a lot. So we'll select 50 euros. So we've changed our goal to a plan of five years in which we are going to invest 50 euros each week. And we have an initial investment or initial deposit of 50 euros. So on the left hand side, you'll see a graph which is showing the five year projection value of how your investments will be in the five years investing time period. This graph is great, but they are showing a 20% annual return. Historically speaking, there's an average return of seven to 8%. So I would take this graph with a grain of salt. That said, you can easily change your goal and your investment amount after creating your ETF, which we will do later on in the video. So we're going to click next. And here is the overview for our newly created ETF. The name is going to be SN ETF. Initial deposit is 50 euros, weekly deposit of 50 euros again, a plan that has a duration of five years. And our goal is going to be 22,330 euros in the next five years. Our minimum investment is going to be five euros. So we create fund buy. Here you'll have different options. With the bank transfer, you can easily transfer without any charges. With the other options, for example, the credit card or a debit card or with Google Pay, you have up to 2000 euros deposit, which is going to be free of cost. After that, you'll have to pay a 0.7% fees for using these methods. If you do not want to fund your ETF right now, you can close that window and see the overview of the ETF again. As you can see, here is the overview of the ETF. We can scroll down and click the settings option and personalize it again. We can change the icons, change the name, and we can also change the goal. So here we have set a goal of 22,000. We can change it to something else. So let's say it's 1000 euros. We have updated our goal. And here, if we receive any dividends from the companies in this pie or this ETF, this auto invest option will auto invest all of the dividends that we get from these companies. So if you do not want to auto invest, you can simply click off to turn off the auto invest option. Let's say after a few days or a month, you want to change your holdings. You can do that by simply clicking edit pie. And here we'll again have the option of changing the percentages, adding or removing any individual companies. This is how we have created our own data G ETF. Here you're not limited to the ETFs or pies you create on your own. You can simply browse the ETF or pie options available within the trading app itself. If you go in the pies option, we have a lot of different pies that are created by the community themselves. If you want to create a dividend portfolio in which we want to get a dividend almost daily, we can follow a dividend profile from the dividend experiment which is going to give you approximately a dividend every single day of the year. So this pie has been followed by 30,000 people and you can simply copy this pie and start investing on your own. And whenever the creator of this pie changes some things, you will get a prompt that the creator has changed something. And if you want to follow those changes or if you want to stick with the old portfolio, so this is a great option in my opinion with the Trading212 app. If you want to get started with Trading212, you can use my promo code of SNETF. You can get a free stock if you sign up with this code. Now you might be wondering which company to get started with or which companies I have in my portfolio. So in this video, I share what companies I have in my portfolio and how it has been performing. So thanks for watching Black Guzzle and I'll see you in this video.